everyone, welcome to this week's video. Um, today I'm going to take you through a couple of things. Um, I finally got around to doing the two um, ceramic canisters that I'd put aside for my bathroom shower steamers. So I do those and what I did was I did a hydro dip. Um, and I did a few other things at the same time. So I will show those as well. Uh, yeah, so they turned out, well, one of them turned out really well. But the other thing that I'm going to show you in this video is how I, oh, excuse me, make my shower steamers. And if I remember, I'll put some, um, I'll put the um, essential oil amounts that I use and some other recipes that I've come across um, for different fragrances in the comments. So please um, carry on watching and I'd love to hear your recipes if you've got a favourite shower steamer flavour that you use. Flavour, you know what I mean. Scent. Anyway, so uh, yeah, thanks. Enjoy. These are the canisters that I'm using. I don't think I showed a picture before, but here they are, just sprayed silver. So all I'm doing is just spraying on top of the water. I am wearing a full on mask and I am working inside because it's raining outside. So I did actually go over the original silver and um, just sprayed it white. So I'm just rolling it round in the, in the um, liquid. Or rolling it through really um, you can see that I didn't have enough on the surface of the water so I'm going back in again with um, another go of the another round of spray on the water and I'm going to do the other side that I had missed before really don't like that line but that line but um yeah oh well it's there now i'll just turn it around the back maybe because <laughs> the other side looks really awesome it's just that line where i've dipped it in to the solid gold which is probably why i shouldn't um i should have mixed the color up a little bit more when i was spraying rather than having the the blobs of colour. Anyway, it still looks really quite cool. I think my mistake with this was I was working in too small a container. I really needed to be able to roll it around the full length of it. That's why I, one of the reasons why I was getting the lines, well that was also because of the, the, um, the spray blocking that I was doing, the amount of colour in a certain area. But um, yeah, I think that's why I'm having to dip so much is because of the surface area of the water, it isn't enough paint to cover the surface area of the canister. Now I'm going to dip the lid. I did um, earlier in the day try putting the lid in the bottom first before I sprayed and pulling it up through. It didn't work. <laughs> so um, whereas this really did, you can see that I had a good coverage of um, colour variants on the top of the water. So that's why the lid has turned out so cool I'm very happy with it it's funny how it goes stringy and when you actually um, you can touch it afterwards it's still um, I mean obviously it's wet but it's not wet <laughs> yeah anyway that looks um, such an easy process so now um, this is the little um, penguin and for some reason on this one might be because the black paint underneath was maybe still a bit soft but it did um, 
have finger marks on it. So I go ahead and I do dip it again. Probably couldn't tell the finger marks, I could see them. So um, got the old scissors and just did another dip. Yeah, this guy's so cute. I love how the middle of his eyes hasn't filled in. It looks very, very cool. This is the little um, little pottery vase that I've just sprayed with the black and I'm just keeping on dipping, <laughs> layering it up. It looks very um, interesting the way it's layered up. It looks like gold has been dripped or, or, or something over there anyway. All right, so now onto the shower steamers. That was one cup of baking soda that was half a cup of corn flour and now I am measuring out half a cup of citric acid so I'm just gonna go in and um, mush it up and get all the lumps out so that when I add um, the I was going to say spices I mean essences it's not um, full of lumps and that kind of thing so um, I should have been adding um, the recipe said 15 drops in total of the essences for this amount of mixture and it said so 15 so I think I was supposed to do maybe 10 of the geranium and um, 5 of the eucalyptus so as you can see I did not do that <laughs> but and it came out smelling really strong because I had a shower shortly after I had these were set um, and I only used half a one in the shower with me and it was strong enough but anyway that's cool so I've just uh, was spraying in water just a little bit at a time and just getting it till it was clumping up and staying clumped up in my hand and now I'm just pushing it into a um, silica mold you could do any shape I just like this little round because it fits perfectly in a, um, a little pottery dish I made for the shower these only take, took a couple of hours before they actually set and I was able to just gently turn it over and push each individual one out by just pushing on the bottom of it and it just slid out really easy. So that was fantastic and they're now in my little jar. So here's a little bit of a close up. This is the apple. I did actually give this a clear coat afterwards but um, it's turned it really matte so I'm actually going to go in with a spray and spray it so it's nice and shiny again but it, it was the first one I did actually it was a little bit of a tester but um, yeah it's turned out okay I'm pretty happy with it the two little animals I think the cat's really cool. The penguin's pretty cool too, I think. This was a little pottery vase. Again, just with the black. I mean, the black, sprayed black and then the gold. And here is the opposite, sprayed white, and then on with the, the gold. That's come out really cool. This is the one that I'm not completely over the moon with. I don't like the line where I've dipped it. I haven't done it nicely. Don't mind this side. 
anyway, I might actually give that a quick sand and do it again. Whereas, I do like this. I really like what's inside. These shower steamers are really yummy. I just had one in the shower just now. And it was half of one actually. So I may have gone over overboard with the um, essential oils. Never mind. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found it helpful. And um, a like and subscribe would be amazing. Thank you. Have a great week.